Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. So today I just want to do like a chit chat, get ready with me. I have some products here from Palladio. This is not a sponsored video or anything. Um, they just sent me some PR and I really wanted to try it out because I feel like that brand doesn't get enough love on YouTube. So I want to kind of just dive into the products. I've been testing some of them out uh, before I filmed this because I wanted to see what they were like. But I feel like I haven't really done a get ready with me like ever on my channel I don't know isn't that so crazy so I want to just sit down chat with you guys just like shoot the breeze film get ready whatever have fun so if you guys want to get ready with me then just keep on watching and if you have not subscribed yet to my channel I hope you will it's a first link down below in my description box make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and last thing, follow me on social media. YouTube is not notifying all my subscribers when I upload. So I always post on like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat when my video goes up. So make sure you guys are following me. I feel like a lot of people don't follow me on Snapchat, but I do post a lot on there. All my, you know, links and everything will be here. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram stories. I think pretty much all I have to say. So let's just get on into it. Today for the first time in forever. You guys can never see like the full length of my hair, but I do have like ombre down here. And let's take a moment to just appreciate my cat headband. Anyways, I want to use this Derma E Radiant Glow Face Oil. This is a collab they did with Sunkiss Alba. And I haven't used this yet. I have this huge bottle. Look how big this is. How am I ever going to go through all this? I'll have this forever. Um, so this has like a shimmer in it. And it looks really pretty. It has jojoba oil, argan, and sea buckthorn oils. I just did a face mask. I did one of my favorite face masks, that peppermint one. I talked about it before, and I'm so sad because I think it's gone now that the holidays are over. That's why I try and stock up on limited edition items. Even like, man, like my favorite coffee creamer are holiday ones, so I have to stock up before it's gone like the frosted sugar cookie uh, creamer I think it's by oh I forget the brand but you guys they have it at Walmart I live at super Walmart now and it's so good you do have to put a lot of it in your coffee to like really taste the sugar cookie and it's probably so bad for you but I should probably start trying to eat a little bit healthier in the new year not that I'm bad but I think I just I need to be eating more vegetables I'm not doing enough and you know I need to do more fruits and veggies for sure because my intake on those things is definitely lacking but it actually it doesn't feel like greasy or anything it feels nice maybe because it's winter and my skin is like drinking things up I totally like picked my face a little bit today that's why it's red over here and here I never pick my face and today I was like mm. so ugh, I hate when I do that but I really really don't ever pick my face okay so I'm gonna use the Palladio rice primer I've actually really been liking this primer Palladio is at Sally Beauty I always see the full display there so this is their rice primer it's mattifying and perfecting apricot oil in it that's interesting it has flower extract coconut oil, another flower, it has aloe leaf extract in here. So there's actually some pretty nice uh, skin beneficial ingredients in here. I did not know that about this. It has like that slick kind of feel to it, but it's not too slick. Not like the clear Smashbox um, primer. I feel like this does a, a nice job at smoothing out my skin. Anyone else, full disclosure, get chin hairs. Oh my gosh, I always am like making sure I don't have anything down here. And I know it's like so embarrassing, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Like, who wants to have a black thing sticking out of their neck? I'll never forget, I was getting my makeup done from my wedding makeup artist, my trial. And she was like, hold still, you have something on your neck. And it was like here, and I was like, what is it and she like plucked out this big hair and I was like so embarrassed but this is what happens when you have darker hair you guys this is real life just to cover up my redness a little bit before I put any foundation on and 
my friend gave this to me, but I think she got it in her Ipsy bag because it says it's by Ipsy. This is more like a minty green type of corrector. Also, I ordered finally the replacement bulb for my ring light. I've been kind of just working without it because I didn't order it and Christmas came and stuff, but then I finally ordered the replacement because I just felt like I needed my ring light back in action. Kind of weird, but I have these samples of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, so I'm going to use these. I actually don't own this foundation. I've only tried samples, and every time I use it, I really liked it. So I had samples, so I'm like, why not just use the samples? I know that's strange, but you know, whatever. I felt like wearing this one today, so I'm going to try and open this. I'm just gonna put this on with a beauty blender. This is a shade vanilla, by the way. They gave like three colors on the little card, sample card. I have been totally hooked on Riverdale, you guys. It's so good, oh my gosh. I've been just nonstop watching it. I watched season one on Netflix. Then I had to download like the first few episodes of season one on Amazon Prime. Then I said, oh wait, I have the C CW app, so they actually have like the remaining episodes from season two on there. So I want to be caught up before it starts up again, because it's starting up again this month. So I'm like, let me catch up. It is so good. And I'm telling you guys, usually it's hard for me to like a new show. I'm very picky, and I usually just watch things I've already watched, or I'm just usually not impressed by many shows. Or they, it's hard for me to keep my interest. But this show, I sing it love. It's like suspenseful. It has like mystery. I love Jughead. Oh my gosh, I think he's my favorite character out of the whole series. If you guys watch Riverdale, let me know. Comment below and also tell me who's your favorite character. I just, I love Jughead. And I love him and Betty together. I actually like Jughead more than Archie. I don't know why. Maybe it's because he's like in the serpents. If you guys haven't watched it, you must watch the show because it really hooks you in and then you're like before you know it, you're binge watching like me so every time i have like a spare moment or i'm cooking breakfast or i'm like straightening my hair i have my ipad on i'm watching it let me know what videos you guys want to see from me i love like hearing your feedback i really want to do a q a let me know what content you guys want to see it means so much to me when you guys Tell me things you actually want to see because I want to film stuff for you that you are actually like interested in. Your feedback is really important to me. I value it a lot. Use the Palladio Under Eyes Disguise Full Coverage Concealer. I have really been liking this so far. Um, it has a nice thick consistency to it. Put some on my finger. In this new room, I don't have my brushes like... I have to actually pull them out. I don't have them close by me like I used to. So I'm like improvising with my finger here. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender. So put some on this eye. It kind of actually reminds me of the BH one, the Studio Pro. Yeah, I feel like no one talks about this concealer or this line too much. So when I get PR, I'm so grateful. Not that I'm gonna like give a dishonest opinion, like you guys know I'll always give you the truth, but it's nice to be able to receive products so I can try stuff out on it because it's so hard for me to buy every single new launch and every single product that comes out because it gets expensive. And it's hard because I do want to review stuff for you guys but it's almost impossible to buy everything you know when you're a blogger and you're on a budget and I feel like that's another thing that's like a lot of people don't know about like with being a blogger like I think everyone thinks it's very glamorous which there are the glamorous sides you know free products um you know a lot of people go on trips I don't go on trips or anything like that I'm not a big huge youtuber or anything but there is this kind of side of being a smaller youtuber where you're kind of in the middle and 
you're not like at this point of a bigger YouTuber, but you're kind of like, I don't want to say struggling, but you're kind of trying to make it by and still review everything. I can only, you know, get so many products, so I try and pick and choose, um, you know, what I think you guys would like best. Try and do more drugstore stuff. It's more affordable for me and for you guys. Um, but it's definitely, you know, there is this like level of competition and who can like get to the product first and it, it can be like stressful. So there's that. And, you know, like I said, keeping up with the money to be a blogger, like it is a very huge commitment. You have to have your equipment. Like I just got the replacement ring light, you know, lights, tripods, microphones, uh, it's laptops, keyboards. It's all expensive it's not a cheap hobby to get into um especially when you start like building up your stuff your equipment and everything and you don't need that stuff you could just keep it basic and literally use your phone but just being genuine about kind of the some of the struggles that there are behind the scenes this concealer is very natural like even though it is on the thicker side i don't feel like it's caked on got this definer contour and highlighter palette that I want to use and this looks so much smaller in person than I, it looks online it's like a little uh I need something to compare it to so you guys can see but it's so tiny it's not like an Anastasia size uh, palette so this is kind of like a highlighter but it's like I don't know it's not that highlighted to me you get a banana color which is way too yellow for my under eyes it might be better for medium skin tones and then you get this uh, highlighter right here Which doesn't have too much of a sparkle. It's more of a matte kind of highlight It's a very very faint shimmer and then you have three shades down here So you have two more warmer shades and you have a more cool tone contour shade Just dip my brush into this one right here and use that to set my under eyes This is one of the unicorn brushes from shop hush's website And I'm gonna this underneath my eyes I don't know how I feel about this foundation I feel like it didn't cover here well my nose looks a little bit cakey I also have this highlight from Palladio this is the oh, my lashes are stuck on here okay take those off okay this is the I'm glowing creamy stick luminizer and it says it has botanicals and vitamins in it. So it's like a chubby stick. I feel like this isn't going to work that good on my skin. Um, and also sometimes these sticks take away the coverage of my foundation. But maybe if I put it like on a synthetic brush. Let me try and find one. Pick some up on this brush instead of using it directly on my face. So it doesn't like mess with my foundation. And I'm going to... Okay, it's definitely better with a brush, but it's not my color. It's way too pink for my skin tone. Um, it looks like I just put pink on my face and not a highlighter. So that is not going to work. So I have a palette here, like an eyeshadow palette. Primer first. It doesn't have like a matte brow bone shade in it. So I'm just going to use the this shade right here. Or actually, maybe I'll use both of these together from the um, Palladio Contour Palette. And I'm going to use that to set everything. I'm going to go into this same palette and I'm going to take the contour shade. And I'm going to use a crease brush just because I want a like matte shade in my crease. I have the Palladio Silk FX All-in-One Herbal Eyeshadow, and this is in a la mode. So you get like this little paper in here that tells you, you know, where you could put the shades. I usually don't follow this, just do my own thing. And um, I'm going to pick up, these shades are really pretty. There's like two shimmery nude shades. I'm going to pick up this second one right here, and they do feel very smooth. This formula actually reminds me a lot of the Maybelline city palette formula it's so similar to that i'm gonna put this all over
actually doesn't have too much color. Not as much as I thought it was going to. You really have to like pack this on. I'm really like digging my brush in there. Brown shade they say is for the crease. So maybe I'll put a little bit of that in my crease. Let's go right in there. And then a bit on the outer corner to deepen everything up. Like that first shade we put on literally just like fell off my eye and didn't leave any product. I wonder if I wet it if it will help. Whenever I film I don't eat so I'm literally like starving <laughs> right now. After I film this I'm gonna go grab something to eat. That same color on this eye. Today I'm actually gonna do a red lip. I haven't done one. Well I did do one for my holiday look but this is like pretty deep kind of red. This one's pretty. It's not really that pigmented though. So I'm going to see if this helps pick up the color better once I have my brush sprayed. The setting spray helped a little bit, but I'm still not wowed by the shimmers in this palette. Like they look so pretty in the pan, but they're just not like, really like doing too much for me. The brown shade and just put some on my lower lash line. I'm almost like so excited that Joanna Gaines is having her fifth baby. I like couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. I love them so much. I also marvel at people who have four or five kids. Like my mom had four kids and I'm like, how? Like I always used to ask my mom, like, how did you do it? And she would say, I don't know, I just did it. And I'm like, I could never do it. I don't know, it just sounds I don't know. One kid is a lot of work. Imagine four, especially like four kids who are like 10 and under. I really give it up to like the moms who have one kid, two kids, three kids, any amount of kids because you are the real rock star. I use the NYC liquid liner. I think this is discontinued now, but I could use it anyway for old time's sake. So for blush today, I'm going to use the Essence Satin Touch Blush. This is in Satin Love. I wanted to use this again because I felt like I only used it like once. So I want to give it another try. Oh, I think I put on a little too much to pull this out. Okay, I put on way too much blush today. Just realized I have to contour. I'm gonna use the definer palette and I'm gonna pick up the cool tone shade right here. I'm just gonna I don't know why but I have like this craving for McDonald's today. Sometimes I get this craving. Not all the time but when it hits me I have to answer I have to answer the craving. I always grew up as a McDonald's girl. I've never been into Burger King. Always McDonald's. My mom used to take me there when I was little. I love their fries. Oh my gosh, their fries are so good. But I feel like it's contouring so nicely on my cheekbones. And it actually looks really good with that blush because that blush has a touch of um, like a shimmer to it, which is really, really pretty. Moving on to lips, I have... This really pretty red color. I think it's going to go nice with the eyes. This is the Palladio Forever and Ever Intense Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Serendipity LP10. So I'm a little scared that I'm going to mess this up because it is an intense red shade. I don't know if this is like a liquid lip. I think it's just a liquid lip, not like a matte liquid lipstick. like outline my lips first Ooh, that is bright red oh my goodness 
scared. I'm scared. It's really pretty though. Oh my goodness. I feel like I just ate a cherry or something. What a gorgeous color. It has really nice shine to it. Ooh, I really like it, especially with the eyes. It's very like pinup girl. I hope you guys liked it and I had fun just chatting with you guys today, hanging out, because um, I haven't really done this before. So let me know if you guys like these types of videos, like a chatty get ready with me. And I will keep doing them maybe like once a month if you guys like them. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!